friends, family, colleagues, and everybody who supports the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Now joining me right now with more information on it, our Guam Reef Hotel Assistant Director of F&B Sales and Promotions, a very long but distinguished title, <laughs> Chief yes. Judge Guzman, and Victor Camacho, he is with Make-A-Wish Foundation. So thank you for being with, here with me. Thank you for inviting us and good evening. Oh, okay, so uh, Vic, let's talk about the Make-A-Wish Foundation right now because everybody knows you know, it's a wonderful um, organization and it does so many great things for kids who by no fault of their own you know, are suffering from like various types of illnesses and it actually takes their dreams and makes it a reality for them and hopefully gives them a little bit of hope. That's true. Um, well, our mission is to grant the wishes of children with life-threatening medical conditions to enrich their human experience with hope, strength, and joy. Mm -hmm. So basically any kid that qualifies for our program uh, is given an opportunity to express what their one true wish is and it's our job to make that happen. So mm -hmm. um, every year about 20 kids from Guam and the CNMI um, go through our office and mm -hmm. are granted a wish. Mm -hmm. So this summer is very busy. We have about 10 uh, travel wishes uh, this year in, in just this summer alone. So it's, it's been a very, very interesting and busy uh, time of year for us. Now you mentioned qualifications. Uh, what are those exactly? Because we get asked that like quite a bit. Yeah, well the qualifications for Make-A-Wish are it, it's 100% a medical qualification and that's determined by the child's physician uh, or the child's clinic. So these are any, anything that uh, would be considered life-threatening um, and that's determined by a, a physician. Um, once that referral comes back to us as a uh, qualified child, then uh, our job begins of planning their wish. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's t go ahead and talk about the Guam Reef 5K Run Walk. Um, obviously, very self-explanatory, but very worthwhile. How did yes. it all come about? Well, it's an honor and it's our pleasure to be supporting the, the Make-A-Wish Foundation because this is the fifth year that we will be doing the Guam Reef 5K <coughs> Run Walk to Wishes. And there's a lot of people that who would like to support the... Uh, vision and the mission of Make-A-Wish Foundations. So this Saturday, we would like to invite everyone to please join us on the Guam Reef 5K Run Walk to Make uh, Wishes. Mm. Now, because it is the Guam Reef, uh, how does the actual facility factor into the, to the route for the course? Well, it helps a lot because there's a lot of uh, new sponsors, new tenants. So this will, although we have hard time actually for couple of sponsors but I think we will be doing all right by mm -hmm. Saturday and with all the prices that we have uh, received especially for Bank of Guam for donating the round trip ticket for two uh, this thank you so much for Bank of Guam and of course at a stress and investment because they've been supporting us since we start mm -hmm. Excellent. So uh, let's talk about the course. Exactly where does it run from it being, you know, a 5K event? Yes, it will start in the uh, first lane of two months going to GBB. We have the water stop in PIC and Holiday Resort, mm -hmm. then turn around to GBB back to Guam Reef Hotel. Actually, the, sun, the tennis court will be our place for awarding and also the warm up. Oh, very cool. Yes. Okay. And that's a little bit of a challenge because at the end, if people think they're doing okay, there's a not so easy hill going all the way back up to the reef. But Jason, because we will have a surprise prize for the last run or so. But we are not saying which category. Okay, very, very good. Um, now, Victor, how many uh, wishes have been granted right now? And if I can just ask, what is the number one wish away from Guam and what is the number one wish that uh, qualified kids make you know, relative to the island? Okay, well, um, Number of wishes, first of all, uh, to date, the Guam chapter has been around for 25 years. So um, a little over 250 wishes uh, have been granted in that time. Um, we started off a little slow, obviously, um, you know, uh, gaining the funds and, and learning about Make-A-Wish. Um, right now we average uh, between 15 to 20 wishes a, a year. And um, regarding the number one wish off island, it's uh, most kids, uh, every, every kid for that, for that matter, um, at one point in their life wants to visit Disneyland. So sure. um, this summer alone, I think um, our last count, it's about six to seven wish families are, we're sending to either Disneyland um, in Anaheim, Disney World in Orlando. We have one family that's um, going to uh, Tokyo Disney, which uh, I thought was really nice. They, they wanted to go to Tokyo Disney. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, we can do that. So um, that's the number one wish um, uh, that we have. It's a good 40% uh, of the wishes we grant are probably to Disney. Oh, very cool. And, and they are a very valued partner and they've been involved with your organization yeah, for the, a very long yeah, time. Yeah, from the start of, of Make-A-Wish uh, uh, 30 plus years ago. Okay. Well, how about locally? Because, you know, occasionally we'll do a report on um, a child that may be suffering from an affliction and they'll say, you know, all I wanted to do all my life was go to 
to Lover's Point. I've read about it, you know, I've mm -hmm. seen it, pictures of it on Flickr and on the internet, but uh, what do people want to do locally? Well, um, most kids um, that want to stay and do their wishes locally, um, they involve shopping sprees. Mm -hmm. Electronics are very popular with the teenagers especially. Um, just the last weekend, we granted a wish for a kid who wanted to have her Sweet Sixteen party. Wow. Um, so for me, I, I, I don't have kids that old, and uh, I've never been to a Sweet Sixteen myself, but uh, planning one was very interesting. We brought in all our volunteers to, you know, who had some ideas, and uh, we had a really, really beautiful celebration for mm -hmm. a, a well-deserved 16-year-old. Uh, Oh, very, very cool. Okay, so um, getting back to the 5K, how can people register and where can they register at? Yes, entry forms are available at the Guam Reef front desk and also at the Hornet. And uh, it's still available. We have a lot of uh, race numbers. And if you're late and uh, you just came back to Guam, you can just go ahead and register on June 29. And there will be a lot of prizes, a lot of fun, a lot of food, and we'll, we'll be giving out T-shirts for the first 550 finishers. Wow. Yes, and not only that, the first, second, and third placers on each category will receive prizes. And the overall for male and female will receive a one-night stay, cash prize, trophy, and a gift bag. All right. Well, thank you both. A very, very worthwhile event going towards a incredible organization on the island doing some absolutely amazing things so thank you very much for both thank of you jason and you for, the for our last uh, thing i would like mm -hmm. to thank you to give uh, appreciation to all the sponsors that donated all their pri all the prizes to make this event very possible okay all right well thank you and good luck thank, thank you, you. all right stay